Jeffrey Johnson essentially said to the frothing jet faithful that are out of control, I'll own the team. You be a fan. You want him fired? He's not going anywhere. He's going to be a coach in 2020. I love him. And I'm just paraphrasing. Now, whether or not that's the right decision, time will tell. But I will tell you this. It is always the right decision to ignore the rantings of a fan base that wants somebody fired after nine games. Because the, you know, how we've been knocking the Knicks and Mills and Perry, how bad they look. Right. If they, in fact, fired Fisdale. They, he didn't have a team last year, so this is essentially his first year with a better team. And they've given him 11 games so far, and he's teetering on the brink. And how that would make them look, they look like a bunch of clowns. That these are the people that chose him to be their coach, and now they're going to fire him. If Christopher Johnson listened to the bleedings of a fan base that's out of control, I frankly out of control. Now, they have a right to be angry. Nine straight years without the playoffs, I get it. But to fire a coach, like most people out there, most people out there could not tell you if a guy's a good coach or a bad coach by watching what's going on. We could surmise, we would call a timeout here, but in terms of like the inside stuff with football, they're playing three-dimensional chess, and we're, yeah, playing, we're playing checkers. Fine, but, but Chris Johnson's along with us. I, I he get doesn't it. see it three-dimensionally. I get it, but for the most part, he was not the only one who chose Gase. McCagnan was in on it too, a football guy. So he does right. like this guy, and he probably talked to other people. Mm -hmm. And he So if you react and fire this guy after nine games, which we have always said was ridiculous, we'd say, you know, look at it again at the end of the year, you'd look like a moron. You'd look like a complete I, guy out of control. I love the fact that he essentially flipped the bird to the fan base. I'm not listening to you people. I mean, you could love that, Michael, but I don't think it really means anything. What do you mean it doesn't mean anything? Well, because is it, does that mean that Gase is, is safe? Well, we've seen, we've seen coaches, usually, we always joke about when you get the, when management, especially the owner, gives you that vote of confidence, that's usually the death knell. I would, I would not be surprised if all of a sudden things change. If they lose the rest of the games, he'll still end up firing them. No, I don't See, think so. Here, here's what I worry about from a Jets standpoint. You, you're looking at it as, well, he's just telling the fans, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm the guy. I have confidence in, in him. I'm going to keep him. Mm -hmm. But... You know, before Gase got there, he had confidence in McCagnin. And then Gase got in his ear, and all of a sudden, he didn't have a confidence in McCagnin. You, it's all about who ends up being the right person whispering in Chris Johnson's ear. But, no, and this is no offense to Chris at all. He's like most owners. He's like a fan. He doesn't look at it as three-dimensional chess. He looks at football the same way we look at football. He gets advice on who to hire and fire. Right. He, 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 he was perfectly happy with McCagnin until Gase got in his ear and told him this isn't the guy. So all we need is one person to call him up and say, relax, you got the right guy and Gase, keep him. Or another guy calling him up and saying, Listen, you got to let him go. But at least He's going to be influenced by other people. But you have to be a man of your conviction. So even if he made the wrong decision, to fire a guy after nine games would be an admission that you're a complete lunatic. Well, no, I, I agree with that. I would. The only thing I took from it is he's not getting fired during the course of the year. Oh, but also, at the end of the he, season... No, he came out and said he's going to be the coach I, in 2020. I, I, under, I yes. know what he said, but what I'm saying is I believe he's going to stick and be the coach for the rest of the year. But I don't know beyond the end of I the year. I believe Johnson. But, e but either way, I and I tend to believe him too, but that's why I like doing it, because you can still change your mind. All you're doing is giving the guy a public vote of confidence. You guys can yell and yeah. scream and do what you want. He's our coach. You can fly planes over the West fly Side planes. Highway. He's the coach. Look. That's good. That's good for the quarterback. That's good for Gase. That's good for the team. And guess what? If they don't win another game and they lose the next seven games by 30 points, well, he'll get fired. No, I don't think he will. And I'm going to tell you why. Because what, he put so much trust in this guy. This guy has reshaped the front office of the Jets, including the GM and the president of the team. And if you're going to bang him, then you're going to say, all oh, the well, reshaping. But, but, we, but we could have had the same conversation with, no, he's not going to fire McCagnin. He just had McCagnin run his draft and, and, and use $100 million of free agency. Right. I just think he blows with the wind, man. I really do. And Woody was the same way. Well, let right, me... They didn't hire Doug Marone. Why? Because Manish Mehta wrote a scathing article at Doug Marone. He went from being the, the candidate to not even getting hired. 
This is an organization that does sometimes fly by the seat of their pants, maybe not what the fans say, but certain motivating factors. If the right article is written, if somebody sophisticated enough gets in their ear, whether it's Casserly or Wolf who were hired to get in his ear, whether it's Peyton Manning that places a phone call, I don't think there's a lot of conviction there. I think Chris Johnson and Woody Johnson both could be moved. It's just the right person to move them. So I agree with you. I don't think he's going anywhere during the course of the season. But at the end of the year, if they lose out, if the right person calls Chris Johnson and says, you got a buffoon for a coach, man, you got to do something, if he trusts that person, then he's going to be gone. Well.